Welcome to the Secret Sauce of Outsourcing podcast that's dedicated to making you better at working with OFS, online Filipino specialists. This is episode 180, How My OFS Team Does Facebook Ads. So in talking about how we do Facebook ads, let me just preface this with I hate Facebook. And you already know that I've said this lots of times, but I don't have Facebook on my phone. I don't log in on the computer. I don't, if you want to ask me, did I see the, no, I didn't see it. I haven't seen the video. I haven't seen the post. I haven't seen the news. I don't, I don't like Facebook. I don't like logging into it. I don't, I don't want to post on it. It's just not me. So how do we run so many Facebook ads? So to tell you, to be completely honest, I don't know. I mean, I, I know generally how it's done. I understand that I make ads, I record them with my phone, but I don't know how my team posts them. I don't know the mechanics of like, here's how you post the ad, or here's how you bid, or here's the audience, or I don't really understand any of that. But I can tell you our general process, and hopefully that helps you working this out with someone who can do this for you. So this starts with brainstorming. Like we come up with a concept of like, here's, here's our funnel, Here's what we think the ads should be. Here's how we, here's, here's written ads, here's video ads, here's image ads. And then uh, I have people on my team that'll write ads and that will do video ads or that will do image ads. And then I'm in charge of the videos. And sometimes, typically, I will record my video ads all at once. I pull up my phone. I often have a, um, an audio recorder and I'll show you that. So this is, this is the audio recorder that I have. It is a Rode Wireless Go 2. Let me plug in a lav mic or you just stick it right here. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can see this. If you're on podcast, it's just like a little tiny box that is a microphone and it gets really, really good audio. And audio is the most important part of your ads. The video is less important. Usually in a video, I make my own script, but sometimes if my team has an idea, they'll write a script and I'll tweak it and then record it. Once I'm done with the video. The only thing I do is I, so I have it on, I use my phone, I use my iPhone. I have an iPhone 13 mini. It doesn't, it's not like magic. It, I had the 12 mini before this. It, you don't have to have the Pro, Max, whatever. It take, They all take really good videos. All I do is airdrop them to my Mac and then I upload them to our project manager system and I tag the correct people in it. So once they're edited, then my video editor grabs them and he starts editing them. And then when he, once he's done editing them, he posts them back in our project manager system. And my writer will watch them a few times and then she will transcribe them and write a post based off of the video ads. So for other types of ads where they're writing them, actually, I don't really know what happens. I know that the writer will write the ad. Uh, I believe that the des my graphic designer will create an image for it. So there's an image with Facebook, but I don't really know. So, cause I don't, I don't even, I don't, Maybe I approve those, maybe I don't. I don't know, I approve some things, but I, I don't really know, which is a really great place to be at because I have t people on my team that I trust. And then once they're, they're edited and written and, and someone has checked it, um, then it goes to the person running the Facebook ads. And again, I don't really know what they do with them, but I know that they set an audience and they test them and the good ones stay and the ones that don't work get removed. and. And we do it a lot. Like we create a lot of ads because I've been told that you have to create a lot of ads and that's just how it works. In all of this, I just want to point out that the ads are just part of our overall marketing strategy. Like we also do emails and I do this podcast and we remarket it. We, we do remarketing and we try and educate people and take care of people rather than just cramming ads. Um, so there's a, there's a whole, I mean, the ads are a whole, part of a whole and even like a holistic marketing approach where we want people to be to know what they're doing and not just buy things just for the sake of buying but rather to understand what they're what they're getting into and what they're doing and how to how to make it work for them so in terms of who you can hire so it's super reasonable to hire a a video editor to help you with this it's super easy to have a designer and frankly my video editor and graphic designer are the same person the guy's really really good Super reasonable to have a content writer, person who will manage social media. Both of those people are the same people on my team. Actually, I have two different people that are the same that do this in different places. And then also very reasonable to hire someone who's good at running Facebook ads. And actually, that person, the person who's really good at Facebook ads could be a content writer and social media manager. Those three things could probably be the same person. On my team, they're not, but I think they could be. I have someone that I think could do all three. And so that it, it's, it's pretty reasonable to do this 
for just about any business, you don't need someone full time necessarily. Uh, even though my people are full time, we do a lot of it. If you're not doing so much, you could probably have part time people or even just hourly contractors that you have doing this for you so that you can actually do this piece of, of marketing that you know you should be doing, but you don't have time to do for yourself.